Oh, what's going on everybody? I got another video here for you. We've got this formula here and we are going to solve it for R2. And this is a formula for resistance. All right, so let's see what we have here. All right, so we've got an equation with fractions and how do we solve an equation with fractions? Well, you get the common denominator and you multiply everything through by the common denominator. And hopefully you can see here that the common denominator is R times R1 times R2 times R3. That's our common denominator. I just multiplied all of them together to get my common denominator. So let's do that. So we've got R, R1, R2, R3 times 1 over R equals R, R1, R2, R3 times 1 over R1 plus R, R1, R2, R3 times 1 over R2. And then I've got plus R times R1 times R2 times R3 times 1 over R3. All right, so notice all I did is I took the common denominator and I multiplied it to each term. So basically, I wrote the common denominator next to each one of these terms here. All right, all right, so look at this. So you can see here in this one, the R and this R cancel, the R1 and this R1 cancel, the R2 and this R2 cancel, and this R3 and this R3 cancel. So I'm left with R1, R2, R3 equals R, R2, R3 plus R, R1, R3 plus R, R1, R2. All right. So now what are we doing? Well, we're solving for R2, right? So everything with an R2 has to go to one side. So notice here that this term has an R2 and this term has an R2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to subtract R, R2, R3 to both sides. Subtract R, R2, R3 to both sides. And I'm going to subtract R, R1, R2 to both sides and subtract R, R1, R2 to both sides. And so this is going to leave me with R1, R2, R3 minus R, R2, R3 minus R, R1, R2. All right. See, I get this term minus this term minus this term. That's this part right here. All right. And this is equal to, well, I'm just left with this one over here on the right-hand side, R, R1, R3. And so if you look now, I have a common factor of R2, because see, that's what, that's what we're solving for. We're solving for R2. So I'm going to factor out that R2. So that's R2 times R1 times R3 minus R times R3 minus R times R1 equals R times R1 times R3. And then I'm going to divide both sides by R1, R3 minus R, R3 minus R, R1. Divide both sides by that. And you can see over here, these cancel. And so I'm left with R2 is equal to R, R1, R3 over R1, R3 minus R, R3 minus R, R1. And this is your answer. All right. So I hope that video helped. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.